Yo, what is going on people? So uh, interesting news today, uh, they've kind of released the first uh, photos of our two new operators as well as the name of this season's operation. It's going to be called Operation Grimsky. Not going to lie, that's a pretty cool name, uh, especially this photo. So the hype is already starting. Um, so we got our introduction to our first two new operators. So let's hop right into the article. It says these two operators may associate with two different CTUs, but they're both joining Rainbow Six's urban tactical response team codenamed Grimsky. R G S U T R. The first operator is a defender from Great Britain. She's a tough police officer who's an expert on mob behavior and snap squad tactics. She knows she belongs on the front line and she won't tolerate any nonsense. The second operator is an American attacker, a specialist with a remarkably sharp mind when it comes to tactical operations. He has seen the worst in Kabul. Despite it all, he fell in love with the city. Legendary for his surgical precision, he remains an enigma within Rainbow Six. We're also introducing our first map rework. The map in question is Hereford Base. Despite the high chance of rain at this iconic training facility, we're renovating the place and making many adjustments to raise the bar for competitive play. A few gameplay enhancements are also making their way into Operation Grimsky. Following a lengthy test phase, we're bringing forth much anticipated modifications to address the weapon site misalignment, but that's not all in our constant pursuit to improve the game and the player experience. An adjustment with operation operator idle pick as well as dynamic resolution scaling for consoles are also on their way. Make sure to play on our test server and submit your feedback on the R6 fix. And the full reveal is going to be uh, between August the 17th and the 19th. And yeah, that's about it. So let's look at our two new operators. And I have to say the thing that I'm most excited for is the weapon site misalignment fix. So it looks like this is finally uh, gonna be handled this season be waiting for this for two seasons now So I'm kind of more excited for that than you know, maybe these two operators But let's have a look at them. So I'm gonna put the photo here uh, on screen and let's just flip it upside down So we can get a good look at them in the reflections of the water on the ground So we're gonna start with the person on the left or right. I don't know it's flipped But yeah, we're gonna start with shield operator. So let's start off with the defender which is most interesting because he has a shield um, yeah, so a shield on the defensive side, but I don't think this is going to be a traditional shield like Blitz and Montaigne. I think this is going to be uh, some type of special deployable shield, and it has two lights at the front. But what is interesting is uh, if you look at the bottom, where it kind of has this checkered pattern. Uh, the one behind is kind of pointing upward, and the two separate ones are pointing downward. So this kind of makes me uh, think that the shield extends... Uh, outward rather than upward like montaigne's um so yeah if these extend outward they would kind of continue the pattern in going up i think so yeah it's kind of interesting a shield that uh, extends lengthways instead of upward so i'm trying to think of a situation where that would be useful so i'm going to assume that this is bulletproof and it's clear so maybe rather than the uh standard deployable shields that we have now which are kind of like all black you can't see on the other side until you pop up maybe that's uh, what's special about this one you can kind of see uh, what's going on on the other side and it has the two lights so maybe there's some kind of small blinding effect if an attacker is looking um, at the person who's hiding behind the shield maybe it's gonna blind them just a little bit not like a full blitz flash but you know maybe um, some kind of disorienting effect or that would make it hard to, to see I guess unless you can flash them like blitz then um, I don't think no one would want that but um, I still think this is interesting nonetheless and over on the other side this is going to be our new attacker so it looks like the rumors were somewhat true this is going to be um, a new type of hard breacher that has a blowtorch and maybe this is going to be the fastest of the hard uh, breaching operators kind of like for the software operators like Ash, uh, Sledge and Buck. Ash is the one who breaches from afar, Sledge uh, he makes kind of the big holes but Buck um, he puts holes the fastest um, Maybe she is gonna be faster one so thermite is gonna make big holes Hibana is gonna put the holes from afar and This person is gonna make holes the fastest, but maybe they're not gonna be that big So you're kind of gonna have to crouch to get through them um, We'll see and I just thought of something else Maybe this is kind of a stretch, but um, there's certain windows on certain maps that are kind of like all steel and um Thermite Hibana can't get through them. I don't think any operator can get through them. Just just a what if she has a blowtorch, she's able to get through some of those windows. I'm not sure if you know the ones I mean. Um, 
for instance, on Canal, or these silver steel windows that um, they're just permanently shut. Just, just a what if she can get through there. But um, yeah, I'm pretty excited for this operation nonetheless. Um, definitely more hyped for this one than, than last season. So uh, if you found this helpful, you can leave a like. So leave your comments down below. What are your thoughts on these new operators? What do you think their uh, gadgets and abilities are? Be interesting to see what some other people think. And subscribe for more Rainbow Six Siege updates. I'm going to be making videos every time uh, something drops. So make sure you subscribe and stick around for that. And turn on the bell so you get notified when my videos go live. But um, yeah, that's it for this video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.